when a German fighter escorted a US bomber to safety in World War II. It is the peak of World War II. A B-17 bomber is flying over German territory, alone. The usual bomber escorts have deserted the bomber for a reason. The bomber has lost three of its four engines and limping back home. A limping plane with no escort fighters is a sitting duck for Luftwaffe. A Luftwaffe fighter rose above the cloud and came near the B-17 bomber. The pilot of the bomber clutched to his stick and expected a hit any time. But the Luftwaffe pilot did not shoot the B-17 bomber. The Luftwaffe fighter Messerschmitt protected the B-17 bomber until the end of German airspace and bid goodbye. As Europe faced ferocious battles, there were moments of friendship. Prelude The battle for the sky over Germany, and Britain was entering a stalemate from 1941. After the fall of France to German Blitzkrieg, all offensive stopped at the North Atlantic coast of France. Luftwaffe chief Hermann Göring took the task of frightening Britain to surrender using Luftwaffe. What lasted until the invasion of the USSR was the bombardment of Britain by Luftwaffe termed as Battle of Britain. Until 1941 the Royal Air Force took a more defensive stand by warding off Luftwaffe bombers entering British airspace. Winston Churchill made it strict not to attack the German mainland as it might cause civilian casualties. The Luftwaffe bombardment of Rotterdam in 1940 made Churchill lift the ban. Opening a new front with USSR thinned Luftwaffe's striking ability, RAF utilized this opportunity and started offensive action. During the initial stages of the RAF offensive, Britain was not fully aware of the German radar system. It ventured with its bombers on crucial locations across the mainland. On 18 December 1939, 20 bombers of the RAF left for Germany, and only half of them returned. The German radar was able to track the bombers precisely and also guide Luftwaffe fighters to the bombers. After this incident, an RAF fighter always escorts an RAF bomber in enemy territory. The Day of Attack On 20 December 1943, a formation of B-17 bombers of US Air Force and RAF Spitfire started from Britain on a raid for the city of Bremen. The attack was over, and on their way back home, one B-17 bomber lost its power on one engine. The reduced power made it vulnerable for further attacks by German fighters. The B-17 bomber is being hit for 10 minutes by Luftwaffe. In quick succession, the bomber lost two more engines and was flying with only one engine. Running on only one engine slowed down the bomber, so the escorting Spitfires need to leave the bomber alone. The bomber limped its way across German airspace. The bomber was picked up by radar, and a German fighter Messerschmitt piloted by Franz Stigler receives a call to destroy the bomber. Franz Stigler was a Luftwaffe ace with 27 confirmed hits. The German fighter came close to the B-17 bomber. The crew has been reduced to only the pilot Charlie Brown. The remaining team is either injured or dead. No crew members were handling the bomber guns, so the bomber was under the mercy of German fighter. The German fighter pilot Franz Stigler noticed that the B-17 bomber is understaffed and decided not to attack it. Franz Stigler escorted the B-17 bomber from German radar by flying close to it. The German fighter pilot tried to persuade the B-17 bomber pilot to land the bomber in Germany. Still, Charlie Brown didn't heed to it. The German fighter pilot guarded the bomber to friendly airspace. At the end Franz Stigler gave a salute to Charlie Brown as a mark of respect. The B-17 bomber safely reached the British airfield. The RAF commanders requested the Charlie Brown not to discuss the matter with others as it might cause sympathy for German pilots. Aftermath After the war was over, Charlie Brown told this story at an event. He started to look for Franz Stigler, who had settled in Canada. They both met and started a new friendship. 
Franz Stigler pointed out that on that day, he was pursuing the Charlie Brown to either surrender or fly to neutral airspace like Sweden. Still, Charlie Brown didn't understand it. World War II is dotted with violence and injustice to people. Still, there are incidents like these that restore faith in humanity.